Hey guys, hey guys. So I haven't did a video in my kitchen in a minute. So I said, let me do a video in my kitchen. What time is it? It's 8.11. Oh, time for you to get out. Um, so I was listening to Reverend Ike. And he was saying that we can have anything that we want. Okay? But we have to understand that our mind is what allows us to get what we want. So, think about some things that you want. And think about why you have not gotten them. Or why you have not went to go get it yet. So, if you have not tried my Nutriburst, right? Click on the link below. Try some Nutriburst. 72 minerals, herbs, fruits and vegetables, amino acids, uh, whole food blend, mineral compound, and fiber blend. So one tablespoon of this, guys, is like eating 10 salads. So if you've been following me and you haven't tried the Nutriburst yet, are you kidding me? This is life right here taking some right now. I give my nieces two years old. I give my other niece. She's six. I gave my godson. He's six. I gave my daughters and their friends. I gave them some. Guys, do you know supplements is 10 to 20% of your diet? Supplements are 10 to 20% of your diet. And if you're not taking supplements, that means you're not getting the nutrients that you need unless you're just a health nut and you calculate all your calories and you calculate everything that you need to do or you calculate every food, every calorie, then that's different, but most people don't. All right, see ya. Okay. Love you. Be good. What time you come home? I don't know. It depends on the day. My daughter, she's headed to work. Um... So unless you're just like a crazed health nut, guys, then you don't need Nutriburst. But if you're not, which 99.9% of folks ain't, try some. Invest in the construction of your health, guys. This, this purifies your blood. One tablespoon, guys, is like eating 10 salads. I put this in my body when I wake up in the morning. So I can wake up. Then I take some garlic. Right, because garlic helps with digestion. Uh, you know, garlic is, is a good um, you know way to help you know move the food out of your small intestines into your large intestines, so that you can go to the bathroom regularly. Okay, so how do you get guys what you want? What? Your bagel thing. No, we're not getting that. You're not eating till after ten o'clock. You know that. So you got the yogurt. That's it. So how do you get what you want, guys, right? Reverend Ike said, it's in the mind, all right? If you can't see yourself having what you want first, then you will never get it. That's what he said, right? But he said that there's principles that we got to follow. You can't be a mean person. You can't be a bitter person. You can't be a stingy person. You can't, right? You have to live a life with love. And this was I was listening to Reverend Ike last night, and I was listening to um, uh, Earl Nightingale. So I was listening to two. So I listened to them for about four hours last night, okay? And he said that love, right, is what makes people do the things that they actually want to do, okay, or need to do. So if you want a house, if you want a car, or if you want a business, right, or, you know, if you want children, or if you want to get married, whatever, Right? You got to see yourself having that here first. You have to say, yes, I see myself there. Right? I see myself doing it. Just for instance, my show that I have. Right? Financially Lit TV. A couple years ago, I saw myself sitting in front of a TV screen and people watching me. Right? Now, I didn't know it was going to happen two years or three years later, but I saw it. Right? So when they asked me if I wanted my own show... It wasn't like a surprise. It was like, wow, I thought about this a couple of years ago, right? I said this to myself a couple of years ago, and now it's here. So guess what, guys? Our minds, eyes first, 
okay? Then we allow the world to see our vision, right? So I was talking to some of my students and I said, the world supposed to see your vision, right? Not support your vision, right? So that simply means if, simple, here goes example with me. My husband, he never supported me when we used to live in a basement with our two children, okay? I was trying to get this business off the ground. I was trying to, you know, understand internet marketing. I was trying to understand who I was. I was trying to understand a niche. I was trying to learn. And my husband didn't support me. He said, go get a job. Go get a job. This internet is bullshit. This internet stuff don't work. This internet is dumb. He didn't support me, right? But I had a vision that I wanted to make 10 grand a month from home. I had a vision, and I had it on my vision board, right? I had a vision that I wanted to make 10 grand a month from home. I had a vision, guys, that I wanted a home office in the basement. Guess what? 2014, me and my husband was able to put 50 grand down on a home for my internet commissions, Okay, for my internet commissions, we was able to do that. And I was able to get a home office in my home, in the basement, and making over $10,000 a month. But I saw that. I wrote it. I said it. I saw it with my mind's eyes first. So now, my husband's my biggest fan. I just gave him 300 to go to Vegas. Okay, my husband's my biggest fan now, right? He loves what I do. He loves me working from home. He loves that I'm able to travel. He loves that I'm able to take care of the kids. Now, he loves it now, but baby, when I needed you, you wasn't there. But guess what, guys? God gives you a vision. God says, what do you want, right? And then you go make it happen, right? Not... Oh, I want this, but I want my spouse to do this for me. I want my kids to do this. No, your vision is yours and you are 100% responsible for allowing the world to see your vision. I said, see, church don't even teach us this, guys, how to have a vision and let the world see it. School don't teach us this, how to have a vision and let the world see it. Our parents don't teach us this. So you got to go seek the knowledge, right? So you need to follow Reverend I. He talks about visualizing. Okay, Earl Nightingale, he talks about visualizing and understanding that you are responsible for your happiness. You are responsible for what you want and what you have. Where you are right now in life is because you see yourself there. You got to see yourself making 10 grand, 20 grand, $100,000 a month. In my office, I have a plaque that says, I already have $100,000 in my bank account. And I see that every day. So it's programming my mind, right? I have another affirmation that says I have a $100,000 line of credit. And my credit score is 800, right? That's one of my goals, right? So I see that every day. So it's programming myself, right? So in order to get what you want, guys, you got to see it first. You got to have the vision, right? You want pancakes? You, you want to think about pancakes first, right? <laughs> the only reason is because I'm looking at pancakes, but... When you want what you want, guys, you got to see it here first. And nobody else will support you or supposed to support you. They're only supposed to see the vision. Right? My vision was 10 grand a month. Now my husband sees it. He sees the checks. He sees my bank account. My husband's inspired by me. He's like, wow, you're working from home making this type of money. Right? So, if you can't inspire your circle, your immediate circle, your children, your spouse, the people that you're with every day, then honestly, guys, you're not doing nothing. I inspire my kids. My daughter's on social media. She's posting quotes. She's talking positive stuff. I'm like, wow, baby. She was like, yeah, ma, I think you're rubbing off on me. Oh, that's great. And my friends, they follow her. They're like, Tanisha, your daughter is literally turning into you. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's a good thing because I'm a boss <laughs> and my kids need to be bosses too. Okay, I wonder you want to be able to inspire, right? My husband, he has a business. He was inspired by me to start his own business, his own freight business. Right? Now I can inspire my YouTube folks. I can inspire my Instagram folks. I can inspire people on my list. Just how it works, guys. Right? But you got to see it in your mind first, guys. We can't hope. We can't pray. We can't wish. 
That's not how it works. <laughs> you see it first here, and then you let everybody else see it by you actually working. You let everybody else see it by having a TV show. Now everybody's able to watch it. Now everybody's like, wow, Tanisha, you really doing this thing, man. I got friends, they just saw my TV show, and they were like, wow, you really doing this. Meanwhile, they already know I've been doing business, but for them to see me on a TV network or a, 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 a network, they're like, oh, you doing something. Baby, I've been doing something, baby. I've been a boss, baby. I've been a boss right here. Right? I'm a boss right here. Okay? So, I'm going to act as if I am a boss. And do boss things and make boss moves. Period. So, whatever you want, guys, you can have. Right? You got to see it first. Whatever you want, guys, you can have. Whatever we want, we can have. We got to see it here first. I'm going to take another shot. So, I just ate literally 10 salads. Let me, let me get another shot of Nutriburst. Guys, if you haven't tried my vitamins, this is not a vitamin video, but if you haven't tried, this is one of my daily routines with vitamins, guys. Supplements is 20% of your diet every day. And if you don't have supplements, you're not having a balanced diet. If all you're drinking is Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts and Burger King and White Castles, guys, you're not having a balanced diet. Eating fried food and french fries, you're not having a balanced diet like I just told my daughter. Right? We're not eating till 10 o'clock. After 10 o'clock, we'll probably eat a full meal. But right now, you eat some fruit, you eat some yogurt, drink some soup, or eat a salad. Right? You eat light. Right? And then, after 10, you can eat a, a bigger meal. And I'm trying my best, guys, not to eat meat. I haven't ate meat in two days. So, I'm going to make today my third day that I'm not going to eat meat. Okay? My half, I have to let my digestive system get a break from meat. Meat takes 24 hours, guys, to digest. So if every 24 hours or every 16 hours or every 8 hours I'm eating meat, then guess what? <laughs> My digestive system is going to keep, keep working and keep, keep working and keep, keep working. You never give it a break. Eventually, it starts to break down and get tired. That's why at 40, 45, 50 years old, people start to get diagnosed with cancer and diabetes and high blood pressure and all that shit. All right, so I want to live, guys. I really want to live. Health and wealth goes together. Eating meat, we don't supposed to eat meat. Eating seafood, we don't supposed to eat seafood. God didn't design our bodies for that. God designed our bodies to eat plant-based stuff. I had a plant-based burger last night. It was amazing. With some sweet um, potato fries. It was amazing. All right? So we got to put our health number one. I told my team this. I said, we have to put our health number one. Because if you don't give a fuck about your health, you won't give a fuck about your money. You won't give a fuck about a relationship with a man. You won't give a fuck about building a legacy either. Your health is number one, guys. You have, if you don't have your health, guys, you have nothing and as we get older, I'm 35, as we get older, guys, we got to pay more attention to our health. Not pay less attention. At 55, we're supposed to work less, not work harder. There's people 55 or 65 working harder than ever. That's, you're doing it backwards, guys. You're supposed to work hard now. Like, I'm 35. I work hard now. So when I'm 55, I don't have to even work. I could just live. All right? That's the mind set guys that we need okay so if you want to know how to get started with amazon i'm helping a ton of people guys and i am so grateful and happy that i'm able to be in position to help women and men across this nation guys to be able to create their own that is so priceless i'm going to create my own economy.com also download my ebook at drop ship to riches Dot com, download the ebook, read it, understand it, do your research before you come and pay me $1,500. Okay, do the research, do the research. Everyone that's in my classes that paid me $1,500, they did their research for a month, they did their research for two months, they did their research for a year. However you got to do it, baby. Okay, make sure you're going to really do it because I don't just want people coming into my class and just watching me. 
No, I want you to work. I don't get excited when I make a $1,500 sale. I get excited when you paid me $1,500. <clears throat> when you paid me $1,500, okay, and you went and you're working and you're making money now. That's what get me excited. When you send me a message or you text me saying, Tanisha, I made $1,000. I made $2,000. I made $500. I made my first three sales. That gets me excited because I know that I have impacted your life. Okay? So I'm looking for people that want to work, that really want to change their life. Amazon can do it, guys. I'm doing it. I do Amazon. I train people on Amazon. Right now, I got to go fulfill some orders. I love it. I can do Amazon until Amazon wheels fall off, guys. Or until Amazon kicked me out or Amazon shut me down, right? I've been doing Amazon over two years, right? I've been drop shipping for four years. I love working from home, see? I love working from home. Do you? Do Are you doing what you love? If not, guys, you've got to make a change now. CreateMyOwnEconomy.com and drop ship to riches. And I'll put the link for the Nutriburst. Make sure you get some Nutriburst. See you guys at the top because the bottom is just too freaking crowded.